Hi everyone, it's Nathan Stanton here from Bridges & Associates. Darren's asked me to provide a quick update on the financial year that was for Bridges. For those who don't know Bridges & Associates too well, we have approximately 200 advisors across the country, um, across three main licensees being uh, Bridges, uh, EWM or Executive Wealth Management and Actuate, which is really the RACQ Bank Financial Planners. Uh, of those 200 advisors, approximately 60 are employed by Bridges. This number has grown pretty quickly over the last 12 months due to various acquisitions that have taken place, which is a real positive to our business. Our main point of difference is that we have relationships with many of the customer-owned banks across the country that really generate approximately um, 20,000 advice leads for our advisors. We're also an ASX market participant, so our advisors can call themselves stockbrokers. So what has been happening across our business over the last 12 months? Well, it's obviously been a pretty frantic period for us, as I know it has been for everyone. The main reason I say it's been frantic for us is because this time last year, we were finalising the acquisition of the Bendigo and Adelaide Bank's financial planning business. This year was therefore going to be one of consolidation where we would welcome approximately 50 advisors and support staff into our employed business. This really would provide the opportunity for us to spend time and resources on further developing the infrastructure requirements of our employed network. At the same time, um, we were implementing and embedding our future state project around our self-employed business. This involved changes to the licensee fees uh, that self-employed uh, planners pay, so really moving to a fixed dollar amount. It involved changes to the way we pay our referral partners, again moving to a fixed dollar amount. And it involved changes to our APL, um, mainly with the introduction of the IWF platform uh, expand. So again, this was going to be a year of consolidation where we would embed uh, these changes into the business. However, uh, instead of being a year where we focused on these two big initiatives, we've had a few other things come across the table. Um, things like our, with the support of the Assurance and Governance program team, we introduced new client service agreements uh, new professional standards and a new audit regime into the business, which has all gone uh, incredibly well. We were also um, selected, so to say, uh, selected to participate in an ASIC surveillance program um, along with RI advice, which basically involved ASIC requesting information on almost every element of our business. We haven't received um, the results to date, but we expect to see these over, over the coming months. And then uh, obviously with COVID, uh, we introduced remote working across the whole business and supported the planner, planner network with new ways to really run their businesses remotely. So when I look at the year that was for Bridges, um, I just think how resilient we have been and how we've really adapted to the changes around us. Um, it's been a great year for the structure of our business and I really look forward to the benefits this will bring over the coming years. I also want to um, thank all the various departments that have supported Bridges throughout the year. As I know, there has been plenty going on for everyone and implementing these, uh, these various changes we have we have requested. Um, it, having them in a timely manner has really been uh, quite amazing. So looking forward to seeing what the upcoming year brings with it and, um, and working with you all in the future. So thank you.